Welcome everybody to our North Conway studios. I'm Chris Pru, and this is White Mountains Today, the show that gets you ready for a great day in the White Mountains. On today's show, we'll run down the area attractions opening for the season, and we'll talk with some of their representatives, including Storyland and Living Shores Aquarium, Mount Washington Auto Road and Great Glen Trails, Conway Scenic Railroad, and we'll also talk with Christopher Bellis of White Mountains Pride and preview their event schedule celebrating upcoming June Pride Month. All that plus this week's events, where to find the best mountain biking trails, watch and win contests for great prizes including a pass to the Mount Washington Auto Road, a Red Parker Pub gift card, and a $100 gift card to Boggs Footwear. It's all coming up on White Mountains today, but first, let's check in with local weather and conditions. All right, everybody, you're watching White Mountains today, and this is a live shot from North Conway Village. Current temperature is 60 degrees in Conway with bright blue skies. We have a great day on tap. Let's first take a look around the region. That is North Conway. This is from Conway looking towards Mount Washington. You can see not a cloud in the sky as we look northward. It's going to be a, a mighty fine day out there. As high pressure settles in a, across New England and the entire Northeast, we're going to have a sunny day with much lower humidity. You can feel it as soon as you step out the door this morning. Lower humidity, and as we take a look at the radar, nothing on the eastern seaboard. Some storms over Minnesota right now in the Midwest. Uh, but we don't have any precipitation in our forecast for at least a couple of days, and then just spotty showers at best. So a nice stretch of weather coming up. Let's get to the details. Today's forecast is sunny with a high near 77 degrees. Calm winds becoming west around five miles per hour this morning. Forecast for tonight is partly cloudy with a low around 52, northwest wind around five miles per hour, so it should be a nice dry night out there. I like to call it a good campfire night. And for your Memorial Day, Monday, mostly sunny with a high near 82, light west wind increasing to five to 10 miles per hour in the morning. And as we look ahead to the work week. We don't really want to look ahead to the work week, but I guess weather-wise we should take a peek. And uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, looks like partly sunny. Uh, Wednesday, there is a chance of showers. Temperatures back into the lower 70s for the middle of the week. Maybe a little bit cloudier on Thursday, but all in all, a nice week coming up. And I love these temperatures in the 70s. Great outdoor weather if you're going hiking, fishing, maybe getting the boat out for the first time, or uh, doing some mountain biking on our great mountain biking trails here in the whites. Let's take a look at the summit forecast. Great day to hike today. Definitely put on some sunscreen and bring your bug repellent as well. Today, sunny on the summit of Mount Washington. Clear under mostly sunny skies, becoming partly sunny late in the afternoon, so a couple of fair weather clouds here and there. Highs around 50 degrees. Winds northwest shifting west at 20 to 35 miles per hour. So a good day even on the summit of Mount Washington. And let's see if we can bring up the, let's see, the live weather cam. This is something new from the summit of Mount Washington. You can go and check this out at mountwashington.org. And this is a live video feed on the summit right there. You can see why they call it the rock pile. That is the actual summit. You can see the American flag uh, waving right by the summit sign there. But uh, pretty clear, a little bit hazy perhaps, as I believe we are looking off to the south in this view. And some other views from the summit of Mount Washington. That is a look north to the northern presidentials, Adams, Jefferson, and Madison. And there is the observatory deck looking east into Maine. So a beautiful day on tap. We have some watch and win coming up, so don't go anywhere. A great prize to give away today to everybody watching live. We will be right back. Maybe you with a look at North Conway, live 60 degrees.
welcome back. You're watching White Mountains today. Looking for something fun to do in the White Mountains? Here are some ideas. Memorial Weekend marks the opening of many of the area's attractions. Here are some that are open right now that you may want to try. Storyland, the famous children's theme park, is open with an early season schedule until daily operations start June 17th. Discover or rediscover all your favorite rides, characters, and shows. Book online to save money and guarantee your spot in the park. Living Shores Aquarium is open Friday through Monday until June 17th when it begins daily operation. Enjoy interactive and educational experiences perfect for families seeking fun things to do with kids. From discovering stingrays, meeting the newest sea creatures, and learning about conservation efforts, there's something for everyone. Find the best family deals and discounts online. Omni Mount Washington Resort is open for a multitude of fun and exciting adventures. Ride the scenic gondola open weekends now through June 12th, plus Memorial Day, then daily starting June 18th. The Mount Washington 18-hole golf course is open with spectacular play and views. The canopy tour features nine zip lines, two sky bridges, three rappels, and there's lots more, including mountain biking, carriage rides, disc golf, guided rock climbing trips, fly fishing clinics, and of course, spa services for after the adventures. Stay tuned, we've got more ideas coming up. There are more things to do here in the White Mountains. Let's check out some local events. The 32nd Wild Quack Duck Race and Music Festival is on Sunday, May 29th in Jackson Village. Lots of food vendors, rubber duck races, kids activities, traveling train rides, silent auction, and more. Free admission and live music from Al Schaffner and Dennis and Davey. On Sunday, May 29th at 7 p.m., the Laura Hill Eastman Performing Arts Center of Freiburg Academy will host a Memorial Weekend concert featuring patriotic music and tribute by the Seacoast Wind Ensemble. For more info on any of these events, visit our website, whitemountains.tv. We all know the scenic landmarks White Horse Ledge and Cathedral Ledge in North Conway, but did you know you can actually mountain bike to the top of them? Let's take a look at that ride now in this episode of Mountain Biking in the White Mountains. The ledges area is pretty unique to the area. I mean, it's, it consists of like White Horse Ledge and Cathedral Ledge. Cathedral Ledge is a big tourist attraction, and the attraction in that area started with rock climbing. The ledges area, though, is consists of those two ledges. So there's a lot of hiking trails, and, but there's also um, specific mountain bike trails that the National Forest has allowed to build these trails up the backside of White Horse Ledge. So you can have a unique experience of, you know, I've described it in one of my Bike the Whites videos, is a really unique experience from downtown where if you want to escape from the family for even a couple hours, you can ride right from downtown, do a short climb up, and you have some of the best views in the valley. So when I do that area, I usually will ride a clockwise loop. Um, a lot of the times I'll start with Echo Lake State Park. Basically you go around, do a clockwise loop up over Whitehorse, which you would probably climb up um, lower and upper Stony Ridge Trail. And then you can get up onto Whitehorse Ledge and there's some trails, some offshoots around there, but it's basically a big open slab with some tiny little paths through the woods. Pretty unique and be able to just take in the views of the valley and have a beautiful view of Echo Lake. And then you can kind of cut across. Um, there's a red trail that goes down the backside, hook onto the snowmobile trail, which is a fire road, and then get over to the cathedral access road, pedal that up, and then you have a trail that's on Trail Forks called Half Day that goes down on the other side of Cathedral Ledge. And it kind of parallels the road and goes down and dumps you down at the bottom. Lower and Upper Stony Ridge has some sections of, you know, very small sections of like black diamond terrain. But for the most part, the intermediate rider could go up and down that. And then down at the bottom around Echo Lake State Park, there is a lot of um, cross country trails that are good for the beginner. Um, and even for the advanced rider, they're just fun, flowy, pine needle type, you know, forest trails. Even if you are an intermediate rider and you're you know, not into a big ride and you don't like steep terrain or hiking trails or anything like that, make the trip up lower upper Stony Ridge, get to the ledge, enjoy the view, 
and go right back down where you came. But it's just a unique experience. You know, you're literally only like a couple miles from the shops in downtown and you're up on this granite wedge. And it's just a unique experience and it's really cool type of terrain that you don't really see a lot of areas, you know, with specific mountain bike trails on. So it's pretty unique. Woo. Trail data used in this video is from the Trail Forks app. The Trail Forks app is the easiest way to navigate the trails in this video and other trails in the White Mountains. Pro features such as offline trail maps are now included with an Outside Plus membership. You're watching White Mountains Today, getting you ready for a great day in the White Mountains. Here's what's coming up. We've got your guide to local attractions, and we'll visit in person with Dylan Henry of Storyland and Living Shores Aquarium. But right now, let's play some Watch and Win. All right, it is time to play Watch and Win. We are live from North Conway, New Hampshire, and we want you $5 gift card to the Red Parker Pub in Glen, New Hampshire. Incredible food, great entertainment. What's nice this time of year, they actually have a back patio. You can enjoy some outdoor dining with friends, a couple of libations, uh, great beers on tap, and of course, their great stage for dancing and having fun. That's the Red Parker Pub in Glen, and we want you to win that. Also, everybody who plays today, regardless of whether you win that prize, you're going to get entered into a drawing for a $100 gift card to Boggs Footwear. So lots of reasons to enter, lots of prizes. It's going to be a lot of fun. But we're not just going to give you the, uh, the opportunity to qualify. You have to earn it. You have to answer our watch and win question correctly. And our question this morning is, what is the second highest mountain in New Hampshire? There it is, covered in snow. Uh, not the view you usually see of that from the ground. That's taken from a nearby mountain. But if you think you know this answer, what we want you to do is uh, enter online. Go to our website, whitemountains.tv, and you can find the enter button if you uh, click on win prizes. That's on our homepage. If you're watching our show live on our website streaming, there's actually a button right below the video window that says enter your watch and win prize answer or something like that. Click on that enter it and uh, we're going to update you throughout the show yesterday we took a bunch of qualifiers and we entered them on here so what we do is every uh so often we'll pick some people at random put them up on our qualifying board and at the end of the show draw one winner for our prize yesterday we want to say congratulations to william from north conway he won a pass up the mount washington auto road for a drive yourself trip uh, but look at all those entries. We have uh, Ipswich, Massachusetts, Glen, New Hampshire, Hooks at New Hampshire, Berlin, New Hampshire, North Conway, Peterborough, Ontario, Canada. Uh, we have Wappinger Falls, New York, and we, those are just a few of the people who qualified yesterday. So no matter where you're watching from, enter right now. Just go to whitemountains.tv, click on win prizes, and submit your... Oops, we just gave you the answer right there, folks. So that's the kind of morning it's been. If you're watching right now, you have an advantage. <laughs> what is the second highest mountain in New Hampshire? Uh, hopefully you were watching, you saw the answer, but go enter it right now. We are going to take a quick break. We'll update you and uh, reveal our first qualifiers in a few moments. You're watching White Mountains Today on White Mountains TV, live from North Carolina, New Hampshire. Mountains Today is brought to you by the Eastern Slope Inn. Enjoy spacious suites and full kitchens in the heart of North Conway Village. And by Adatash Mountain Village. Reconnect with family and nature at our White Mountain New Hampshire Resort.
The story of White Mountain Oil and Propane began in 1941. Since then, it's been neighbor helping neighbor for generations of customers. When you call from Chikora, they won't ask how to spell it. They'll say, we have someone there now. His name is Bob. They have the largest storage facility north of Concord, so you won't hear, see you next week. You'll hear, be right over. They know this valley, and they know what you need to enjoy it in year-round comfort. White Mountain Oil and Propane, always there for you. North Conway Midas saves vacations and gets locals back on the road. Trust Midas for all your auto care needs, including brakes, oil changes, tires, and now alignments. Buying a used car? Before you spend the money, bring it to Midas for a free inspection. Local owners Ron and Kelly Monroe believe in quality work, treating customers with honesty, and giving back to the community. Trust North Conway Midas, White Mountain Highway across from the Red Jacket Hotel. Welcome to Barley and Salt Tap House and Kitchen, a contemporary eatery with 30 ever-changing craft beers, full bar, and a street food menu with international variety. Looking for the latest craft brew? This is the place. Seasonal shared plates, craft cocktails, killer playlists right here. Our high energy industrial atmosphere accommodates large parties indoors and out. Barley and Salt delivers the perfect pour in an atmosphere unique to Mount Washington Valley. Barley and Salt. Savor the hops, relish the flavor. Age before beauty? Why not bold? Visibly diminished wrinkled skin in just two days. New Crepe Corrector Lotion, only from Gold Bond. Champion your skin. Yes. I'll get you the file. Sounds intense. Clients. What do you do? Retired? Tech? <laughs> nah, Army. Huh. Check your spam folder. Welcome back. You're watching White Mountains today. Looking for something fun to do in the White Mountains? Here are some ideas. Memorial Weekend marks the opening of many of the area's attractions. Here are some that are open right now that you may want to try. Lost River Gorge is open Thursdays through Mondays until mid-June when it opens daily. Explore nature's blissful beauty as your journey takes you on a self-guided adventure along a one-mile wooden boardwalk among jagged rock walls, glacial boulder caves, and cascading waterfalls. Buy tickets in advance to reserve your place, as they can sell out. Plus, you'll save money buying online. Cranmore Mountain Resort is open weekends and Memorial Day with select rides. Take a ride on the mountain coaster, zip through the air on the Soaring Eagle, and experience the giant tandem swing. Or discover downhill mountain biking on Cranmore's Lift Service Mountain Bike Park. Additional rides and attractions start June 18th, when Cranmore goes to Thursday through Monday schedule. Advanced reservations highly recommended. Stay tuned, we've got more ideas coming up. There are more things to do here in the White Mountains. Let's check out some local events. There's a Dine to Donate June 2nd from 5 to 8 p.m. at Black Cap Grill in North Conway. You can get a great meal and have 10% go towards Axe, which is Assistance Canine Training Services. Come out and meet the puppies while supporting a great cause. Great Glen Trails Outdoor Center is hosting the 2022 Black Fly Trail Run and Relay on Saturday, June 4th. Make your way through the beautiful trails at the Glen in a race that's 100% New Hampshire. There'll be three classes, three mile individual, 10 mile individual, or 10 mile relay with a team of three. Tackle single track, muddy bogs, carriage roads, and a river crossing in this course made up of three loops run in sequential order. 10 a.m. mass start. More info at greatglentrails.com. For more info on any of these events, visit our website, whitemountains.tv. Introducing Outside Plus, your home for exploration. From the backyard to the back country. Workouts, meal plans, curated content. All from the brands you know and trust. Join today. You're watching White Mountains TV. I'm Chris Prue in our North Conway studios with Dylan Henry, and we're about to talk Storyland and Living Shores Aquarium. Thanks for joining That's us correct. today. Thanks for having me, Chris. Now, of course, summer means White Mountain attractions. One of the yes. signature attractions here in the White Mountains is Storyland. Tell us what's uh, what's going on in Storyland this summer. So Storyland is, is an amusement park in Glen, New Hampshire. It was started in 1954, so it has a rich history here in the White Mountains. Um, Storyland is for all ages. We have something for small children up to adults who are thrill seekers. So we're great for the whole family. 
Um, this summer, we have a ton going on. Shows are back at Storyland, which is something that we haven't had for a couple years. Uh, we are reopened. We are ready to go. Um, and we also have our Swan Boats rides back as well, which we haven't had for a couple years. So we are rearing up for a good summer 2022. So Storyland seems like it's wide open. Uh, tell us about opening dates. We are, as we're recording this, we're approaching Memorial Weekend. Yep. Uh, when is Storyland going to be open? Yep, so Storyland opens for the season on uh, May 28th. Uh, we'll be open for Memorial Day weekend, so Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Um, we are open from 9.30 until 5 o'clock. And then once we get a little bit further into June, we're going to be going to our uh, daily operations uh, toward the back end of June. And then we'll be extending our hours uh, midsummer into uh, 6 o'clock, going a little bit later into the season here. All right. One of the nice things about Storyland is you can go year after year, enjoy a lot of the same rides that you enjoyed maybe even as when you were a kid coming to Storyland, but you guys are always adding new things too. So what's yeah. new at Storyland this year? Yeah, so uh, we've done a lot of refurbishments around the park. Uh, so if you go around the park, you'll see things looking newer and fresher. Uh, we've renovated a few of our bathrooms around the park too, which is something that I know people are going to appreciate having a nice uh, uh, clean and, and refreshed space there. Um, like I said, our shows are back, which is something that's super exciting. Um, our swan boat rides, which we haven't had for a couple of years. Uh, if you're looking for that nice, cool, calm ride over by the castle there. Um, so there's a lot that's going on, a lot that's really exciting about this season. All right. Now, how do we get into Storyland? Can we still walk up and, and buy day tickets? Uh, season passes, I know, are always a good option. Yep. With uh, Since the, the pandemic, online ordering has been a key thing. Yep. Give us some inside information. How do we prepare for our trip to Storyland? So whether you're somebody who likes to just show up and purchase your tickets or you're somebody who likes to prepare in advance, you can do either option. Uh, if you are purchasing at the gate, you will be paying a few dollars extra. And there's also the potential that we may reach capacity certain dates. Um, so you if for the best availability and for the best price, you do want to purchase your tickets in advance. Uh, we have several options for tickets. We have our dated tickets. So if you're ready to lock in a date and you want to save the most money, you can purchase a dated ticket. Uh, if you want a little bit of flexibility, you can purchase an any day ticket, which means that you can just show up any day you want to this season, get admission into the park. And if you're somebody who might want to frequent Storyland, you're planning on coming more than once to the park, Take a look at our season pass options. We have four options available. So uh, whether you're interested in paying the lowest price and you are okay with some blackout dates, uh, then you could get our bronze season pass. If you're somebody who is going to be coming to the park all the time, you want all the best perks, and you're even interested in coming to our other parks around the country and also the Living Shores Aquarium just next door, you could purchase a platinum pass. So you can get unlimited admission to all of our parks. So um, there's options for everybody, whether you're a day tripper or you're a diehard fan. And I know some of those passes with just a, a couple of visits, you've paid for your, your pass right there. Yeah, that's right. In yeah. Value. Uh, yeah, like I said, for our, our lowest pass, um, it can pay for itself in two visits. So wow. if you're planning on coming more than one day, definitely look into our season pass options. All right. Now, I know a lot of people love Storyland. They've yep. grown up going to Storyland. And as they get to be adults, they say, you know what? I need to get married and have kids just so I can keep going to Storyland. But that's not even necessarily true anymore because you guys have an event. Uh, it's a uh, nostalgia and past bedtime yeah. events. What are those about? So our nostalgia nights are something that we introduced in 2019, and they were a hit with the Valley and, and the local areas. Um, that is a 21-plus night, Saturday nights in July this year, um, where you can relive your old memories of Storyland, get those photo ops, do those rides late at night, and enjoy the magic of Storyland after dark uh, in a, an adult setting. Um, this year, we have four dates. Uh, so it's July 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th. Um, so if you're interested in coming any of those dates, we've got, like I said, rides going later into the night. We've got better in-park lighting this year. Uh, we have live music. We have entertainment around the park. Um, so it's going to be a really fun time, uh, Saturday nights in July. And then the past bedtime event is a new event that we've added. It's brand new this year. It's July 2nd. And that is a family-friendly version of our Nostalgia Nights. So you can bring the whole family to enjoy the wonder of Storyland past bedtime, 6 to 10 o'clock. Nostalgia and past bedtimes, I know in the past Nostalgia has sold out quickly, so yep. you probably want to get your tickets right away before it sells out. Yep. 
Uh, yeah, tickets have been selling pretty fast. Uh, we do have more dates this year, which is better. Last time around in 2019, it's the first night sold out within minutes. Yes. Um, but now that we've added a few more dates to pad it out a little bit, we do still have some tickets available for those dates. But if you're interested, you do want to get those quickly. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, now, next door to Storyland is Living Shores Aquarium, somewhat of a new addition. What will people find at Living Shores? Yeah, so Living Shores opened in uh, late 2019. Uh, and then quickly had a closure due to COVID-19. So we did reopen last year. Uh, it's right next door to, uh, to Storyland. They share the same parking lot, essentially. So if you're making a trip or planning a trip to Storyland, you'll want to throw in a trip to Living Shores Aquarium just next door. Um, there's over 30,000 square feet of floor space in the aquarium with over 20 exhibits, which include some of the popu more popular ones, um, the stingrays, which you can feed and pet. They're very friendly Atlantic stingrays. Uh, we have our lorikeets as well in the aviary. Uh, and then we also have our otters, which have gotten a lot of uh, popularity <laughs> online and have been spread around, and they're just really stinking cute. So. You can see the otter celebrities for yourself in person at Living Shores Aquarium. Uh, right. For people who have been there before, anything new for this summer? Um, so this summer, a lot of refurbishments as well, just cleaning things up in the space. Um, we have a new lineup of uh, an itinerary for the day. So if you're looking at uh, making a trip to the aquarium, uh, you can look online at our daily schedule. We have presentations. We have enrichment training for the otters. Uh, we have our new Critter Corner, Critter Corner, uh, which is a place where we bring out um, um, small animals that typically aren't in the aquarium or aren't viewable. Um, so you can get a kind of a hands-on, up-close experience with our Halloween crabs, uh, scorpions, our, our uh, spotted leopard geckos. Uh, so small critters that you can get a, a close-up experience with. <laughs> scorpions, <laughs> Halloween crabs. Yep. Uh, and then if also there are some great dining options, I understand, yep. at uh, Living Shores Aquarium. Yeah, so uh, it's in the same building as the aquarium just next door. We have the Bistro, which is open and serving. It uh, opens an hour earlier than the aquarium. The aquarium's open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Bistro opens at 9. Uh, there's a variety of breakfast and lunch options available at the Bistro. And a little known fact that I like to tell everybody is that we do have Dunkin' Coffee. Um, and it can be a lot quicker of an experience <laughs> than trying to go to any of the other Dunkins in the area and waiting in line. You can usually just walk right up and order your Dunkin' Coffee and, and get on your way. So that's a little bit of a valley secret, right, I think. So can you still get into the, the, the restaurant and the Dunkin' without an admission to the, the aquarium? Yep, yeah, that's correct. Um, the restaurant is open to the public. So you can just, you know, if you're stopping, uh, if you're in the area in Glen, and you just want to stop in for a breakfast or a lunch or a Dunkin' coffee or something like that, you can just stop in, no admission needed. Uh, we do ask that you uh, do your uh, trip to the bistro before or after, uh, just so we don't have people bringing food into the aquarium floor. Mm. Um, but if you're in the aquarium and you want to go out, step out real quick, order some food, and when it's done, just step out of the aquarium and, and get that food, you can do so as well. Genius, I think I just found a new life hack. Go to, I know. Go to the aquarium for your, your morning coffee. There you go. All right, Dylan Henry from Storyland and Living, uh, Living Shores Aquarium. Uh, did we miss anything? Um, I think that about covers it. We're excited for uh, our season coming up. Uh, we've got a lot of fun things in store, and we're just uh, so excited to see everybody back at Storyland and Living Shores this year. So much fun, so popular. Make sure you get your tickets in advance. Yep. Which website should they go to? So StorylandNH.com for your Storyland tickets and LivingShores.com for our, your Living Shores tickets. Um, and you can find everything that you need on there, whether it's our hours, our prices, season passes, our, our tickets, our attractions, our shows, all of that information that you need to know are on our website. So easy, go and check easy. them out. Dylan, thank you so yep. much for joining us this Thanks morning. Thanks for having me, Chris. You're watching White Mountains TV. This is original. This is original. A Valley original. This is family dining, fine dining, international seafood steak. This is independently owned. Right here and only right here. It's live music, a margarita, a martini, a local brew. It's fresh from the sea and farm to table. This is a Valley Original Restaurant. Look for this flag over 20 of the Mount Washington Valley's best independently owned restaurants or browse restaurants right now at thevalleyoriginals.com. You're watching White Mountains today, getting you ready for a great day in the White Mountains. Here's what's coming up. We've got your guide to local attractions and we'll visit in person with Brian Solomon of the Conway Scenic Railroad. But right now, let's play some Watch and Win. All right.
right, everybody, it's time to play Watch and Win here on White Mountains TV. We are live from North Conway, and this is the prize we want you to win today. It's a $25 gift card to the Red Parker Pub. One person will win this. Everybody who enters a guest will be qualified to win a $100 Boggs Footwear gift card as well. All you have to do to get in both of these drawings is answer this question. What is the second highest mountain in New Hampshire? What is the second highest mountain in New Hampshire? Each time we come back to you with Watch and Win, we will uh, show you a qualifier. So we've had several people answer. If you want to submit an answer, go to whitemountains.tv. That's our website, whitemountains.com, whitemountains.tv. And you can click Win Prizes there. There's lots of buttons to enter your answer. And uh, every so often, we're going to take one correct answer at random, put them on the qualifying board. And right now, we have Diana from Conway as our first qualifier. We'll take several more throughout the show. At the end, we will draw one winner for our $25 gift card. If you want to see your name on the board, go right now to whitemountains.tv and tell us what is the second highest mountain in New Hampshire. Good luck. The food, the party, the legend. The Red Park of Pub and Glen is where the valley rallies for hand-cut steaks grilled to perfection. Hefty appetizers, freshly ground burgers, chicken, seafood, plus great salads, and the park is famous barbecue ribs. Kids' entrees come with dessert and beverage refills. Awesome events for great causes and the hottest nightlife in the valley with live music and dancing. The Red Park of Steakhouse and Pub, a valley original, Route 302, downtown Glen. For over three decades, Joseph's Spaghetti Shed has been serving delicious Italian meals with their famous homemade sauces, meatballs, and fresh breads. Enjoy all your Italian favorites, plus delicious salads and Joseph's incredible 10-inch pizzas. Some say the best in the valley. Joseph's is casual, affordable, and perfect for tired families after a day of White Mountain fun. Call ahead for takeout or grab a frozen meal for later. Joseph's Spaghetti Shed, Route 302 in Glen. Style is about being inspired. At Spruce Hurricane, our style inspiration comes from the natural beauty of our surroundings. The reds and golds of autumn leaves, shining stars glistening in the night, turquoise skies that stretch to eternity. Our collection of merchandise is as diverse as the New England weather. Footwear and outerwear may be inspired by snowdrifts and ski slopes or by pastures and open fields handcrafted jewelry and accessories, leather belts and handbags, sweaters and jeans or boots and jackets, all are combined with color, texture, and artistry to inspire you. Explore your style inspiration at Spruce Hurricane, where the wilderness blends with city sophistication in the heart of North Conway Village. And check us out on Facebook for your daily style inspiration. This is original, a Valley original. This is family dining, fine dining, international seafood steak. This is independently owned, right here and only right here. It's live music, a margarita, a martini, a local brew. It's fresh from the sea and farm to table. This is a Valley original restaurant. Look for this flag over 20 of the Mount Washington Valley's best independently owned restaurants or browse restaurants right now at thevalleyoriginals.com. Introducing Outside Plus, your home for exploration. From adventure to practice, training plans to race day events, from the backyard to the backcountry, workouts, meal plans, curated content, all from the brands you know and trust. Outside Plus, where knowledge meets inspiration.
Welcome back. You're watching White Mountains today. Looking for something fun to do in the White Mountains? Here are some ideas. Memorial Weekend marks the opening of many of the area's attractions. Here are some that are open right now that you may want to try. The Mount Washington Auto Road is now open daily 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for drive yourself trips and guided tours in their stage vans. History has just been made on the Auto Road as this will be the first season ever the road will be 100% paved from the base to the summit. Great Glen Trails located at the base of the Auto Road is open for mountain biking. Bring your own bike or rent one at the base lodge. They also offer kayaking tours including guided wildlife paddling tours on the quiet Androscoggin River. Advanced reservations needed for the kayaking. The Conway Scenic Railroad in North Conway is open with three different excursions including the family favorite Conway Valley Train, which is 55 minutes round trip, Sawyer River excursions, which are just over two hours, and the Mountaineer Train through spectacular Crawford Notch, which is four to five hours depending on the trip. Buy tickets online at conwayscenic.com. Stay tuned, we've got more ideas coming up. There are more things to do here in the White Mountains. Let's check out some local events. The Weathervane Theater is proud to announce the opening for its 57th season. Million Dollar Quartet, a thrilling rock and roll musical with limited engagement at the Weather Vane June 8th through the 18th. The show centers on December 4th, 1956, when an extraordinary twist of fate brings Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, Carl Perkins, and Elvis Presley together at Sun Records in Memphis for one unforgettable jam session. June is Pride Month. All June long you can participate in fun events organized and planned by White Mountains Pride, including the big one the White Mountains Pride Festival on June 25th at the North Conway Community Center. It will include a full day of activities, live music, food trucks, and more. More info at whitemountainspride.com. For more info on any of these events, visit our website, whitemountains.tv. One of the most breathtaking natural wonders in New Hampshire is Lost River Gorge. Let's take an inside look now at the boulder caves, boardwalks, and cascading waterfalls of Lost River. Lost River, with your ticket purchase here, you get access to our gorge. Um, you get a little bit over a mile long walk through our gorge, go up and down over a thousand steps. A lot of really cool stuff you see as you go through. Um, there's a river down there, waterfalls, uh, we have about a 30 foot waterfall, natural rock formations, uh, several different viewpoints of the mountains. And then as you go through, we also have 11 boulder caves, which is the main attraction here. Um, they vary in difficulty. Some of them you can walk right through, other ones you gotta crawl on your belly to get through. The caves were formed by the rocks that had fallen down from either sides of the cliffs into the gorge years ago, thousands of years ago. Um, and so that's what everyone really loves when they come here is to crawl through the caves. We have people of all ages, you know, adults come through and they act like little kids as they're going through these caves, crawling on their hands and knees, getting dirty. Um, people just love it. So it's a totally rustic experience. Um, it's boardwalk and stairs the whole way through. It's an area that you would never be able to explore um, like you do without the boardwalk. Um, it's really a work of art, the boardwalk going through it. Um, and it's just, there's tons of very cool stuff as you go through, as I said before. Um, we have interpretive signage that gives tons of information about the history of the place, how it was formed, how it was founded. Um, a lot of really cool information. This, they've been given tours here for over 100 years. Um, so there's a very long history of this place. Over the past five or six years, we've done a number of expansions. Um, we added our loop trail, which gives a very good view looking west uh, behind me there of those mountain ranges. Um, several years ago, we added our suspension bridge and the out of the gorge experience, um, which added about a quarter mile to the trail of a nice walk through the woods with a little extra cave out there, treehouse gazebo area. And then I believe two years ago, two or three years ago, we added our giant bird's nest, um, which is one of the last things you see here. Every time kids go in there, they start chirping like birds. <laughs> and adults. Yeah, ad adults as well, yeah.
So we do still have a capacity limit this year due to COVID. Um, so we try to ask everyone to make reservations beforehand. So you can go right to our website, lostrivergorge.com and click buy tickets now and you can make a reservation. We will sell walk-up tickets, but we can't guarantee a spot is the only thing. Um, so we push people to make those reservations, purchase your ticket online, and you can just come up, check in, and you're able to go right down and explore the gorge. If you enjoy the outdoors and looking for a little bit of an adventure, um, this is the place to go, absolutely. White Mountains today, live from North Conway, New Hampshire. Current temperature is 60 degrees in North Conway with bright blue skies overhead. This is a live shot of the village. Just a couple of cars right there. People may be heading out to get their morning coffee or getting an early start on their hike or their mountain biking, whatever your day's adventures has in store. We are looking, let's see, let's go to our radar right now. We can see that uh, we don't really have to worry about any precipitation today or actually over the next couple of days. Some uh, storms out west right now over Minnesota and Iowa, but nothing on the radar over the east coast at all. High pressure has settled in. That'll bring us some nice clear skies today and into tomorrow. Humidity has dropped way down. You can actually feel it as you step outside this morning compared to yesterday. It'll rise a little bit tomorrow as temperatures warm back up uh, into the 80s tomorrow. But today, sunny, dry, low humidity, and pleasant temperatures in the mid-70s. Today in North Conway, again, sunny and 77. Just a light breeze out there. Great outdoor activity weather. Of course, uh, wear your sunscreen today. Today is optimal sunburn day. Optimal if you want a sunburn. Uh, partly cloudy with a low around 52 tonight. Northwest wind around 5 miles per hour. Good campfire evening. On Monday, Memorial Day, we're looking at mostly sunny skies with a high near 82. And light west wind increasing 5 to 10 miles per hour in the morning. Looking ahead to the rest of the week, Tuesday and Wednesday, a mix of sun and clouds in the low 70s. Slight chance of a shower on Wednesday. Thursday looks cloudy with a slight chance of a shower and 71. If you're going hiking today or maybe taking the Mount Washington Auto Road to the summit of the Northeast Highest Peak, here's what you'll find up there. Summits today will be clear under mostly sunny skies, becoming partly sunny later in the afternoon. High temperature around 50 degrees, winds northwest shifting west at 20 to 35 miles per hour. Let's take a look around the White Mountains, presented by White Mountain, White Mountain Oil and Propane, serving this community for over three generations. White Mountain Oil and Propane is always there for you. There's a view from Conway looking up towards Mount Washington. You can see the crystal clear blue skies, low haze, low humidity this morning. Let's go up to the summit right now, and that is the observatory deck with clear views to the east and another view to the north of the northern presidentials. And let's take a look at, see if this works, from the Mount Washington Observatory. This is sunrise being recorded from the top of Wildcat Mountain looking over towards Tuckerman Ravine and the summit of Mount Washington. A beautiful sunrise this morning as the sky is clear, the sun rises. And again, it'll be a high of 50 today on the rock pile. And you can check this out on the Mount Washington Observatory's website. Mount Washington, that's M-O-U-N-T, Washington.org. And we'll leave you with a look again of our live cam in North Conway. 24 hours a day, you can check this out on our website, whitemountains.tv. It's presented by the folks at the Eastern Slope Inn in downtown North Conway Village. If you'd like to stay just steps away from this view, book your vacation now at the Eastern Slope Inn in North Conway. Watch and win and more events and information coming up. We also have an interview with Brian Sullivan of the Conway Scenic Railroad.
University in the White Mountains and Mount Washington Valley at the free annual Pride Festival June 25th at the North Conway Community Center Park, featuring music, games, food trucks, and more. White Mountains Pride, celebration, empowerment, acceptance, and inclusion for all LGBTQIA plus residents and visitors and their friends and family. For more info on this and other upcoming events, visit whitemountainspride.com. North Conway's favorite adventures at Cranmore Mountain Resort. Check out the new beginner-friendly, lift-serviced downhill mountain bike park. Ride the mountain coaster, soaring eagle zip line, and giant swing. Enjoy outdoor dining on Zip's deck. Ride the scenic chairlift to the summit for amazing views, ice cream, hiking trails, and Tuckerman Brewery tasting room. Cranmore Mountain Resort. Fun for the whole family. Just one mile outside North Conway Village. Visit Cranmore.com for tickets and important info. When your passion has a path, you just have to follow it. See where one of our 50 academic programs can take you at White Mountains Community College. Enroll now at wmcc.edu. Introducing Outside Plus, your home for exploration. From adventure to practice, training plans to race day events. From the backyard to the back country. Workouts, meal plans, curated content. All from the brands you know and trust. Outside Plus, where knowledge meets inspiration. Mountains TV. I'm Chris Prue in the North Conway studio, and my guest is Brian Solomon of the Conway Scenic Railroad. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Chris. How are you? I'm great. It's kind of fun to be here in a TV studio. Isn't it fun? It's, uh, but you know where it's also fun, Brian? In a train station or riding a train. And here to help us uh, discover some railway journeys is Brian. Uh, you, the Conway Scenic Railroad, give me a little overview of this attraction. This isn't something that's been fabricated in the last couple of decades to simulate no, an old-fashioned train this ride. This is the real thing, and I always have to kind of impress upon it. I come from a railroad and railroad history background, and this is the real thing. I mean, this railroad was built in the 1870s. The original Boston and Main route was, was opened like in 1872. Station dates from 1874. It was built for the railroad as a railroad station. The one difference is, is the railroad expected the station to be the gateway to the White Mountains and not the entrance to the attraction, if you like. <laughs> this was where you, this was the destination rather than the origin point. So that, that's yep. a change. And then, of course, we have the Mountain Division, which is the old Portland and Ogdensburg main central route that connected Portland with St. Johnsbury, Vermont, and was kind of a big deal for transportation back in its heyday. So a, a wonderful uh, train station with a lot of history brought a lot of skiers and, and tourists up to the area at one point. Yeah, it helped really develop this whole region as a, a major tourist destination, originally from people coming up from the Boston area. I mean, the Boston and Maine literally connected its points, Boston to Portland and then all over New England. Boston and Maine, of course, being one of the largest transportation companies in the whole New England region if you went back 100 years. Right. Uh, and so you're, you maintain a lot of that 
that legacy and you provide these kind of recreational excursions now and you have a few rides to choose from for people yeah to yeah what makes us unusual amongst the realm of tourist railroads there's a lot of tourist railroads all over the place but what really kind of separates us out from a lot of them is we don't do one thing we do uh, this time of year we do three distinct excursions we have a conway excursion which runs about an hour and recreates kind of the, the experience of traveling from town to town by train on these kind of heritage trains. We use a 1920s era train set mm. as one of our, uh, I say train set, isn't that all the cars together are a train set. I don't mean the thing that goes around your Christmas tree, <laughs> just to clarify. Okay. But so we got this 1920s era train and uh, it, it goes from here to Conway and back. It's about an hour and it's really great for kids that want a short train ride yeah. and just to experience what a train ride was like a hundred years ago. Mm. So we've got that and then at 12.30, we take the same train, we go all the way out to Sawyer River and back. And Sawyer River is about five miles beyond Bartlett okay. along, you know, I guess the route Into Crawford 302. Notch. Yeah, it just kind of just, just kind of touches the, the route up into Crawford Notch. Yep. And again, that's a slightly longer, it's about a two hour, two hour, ten minute train ride. And uh, again, it goes, you know, over the hills and through the woods, as we like to say. It runs along the Saco River, some nice views of the river. and. A, mm -hmm. If you're up on the engine like I am, sometimes you see things like bear and turkeys and all kinds of cool stuff. From the windows, hopefully you'll see some wildlife, but we can't promise anything. But it is kind of a cool ride. Then, of course, the premiere, the super scenic attraction, the one that's on all the brochures and on the billboards and everything else, is our Crawford Notch Run, and that is uh, what I call the Mountaineer. We renamed the train two years ago. Historically, they'd called it the Notch. Um, if you go back to Boston in Maine Central days, you know, starting in the 1930s, they called it the Mountaineer. So I said, hey, why don't we just call the train the Mountaineer? That's mm. what it always was, and that's what we call it today. It recreates the experience of taking a transcontinental streamliner across the United States. Wow. We use 1950s vintage Art Deco. We've got two, soon to be three, Vista Domes. These were cars built by the Bud Company of Philadelphia for transcontinental streamline you know, to go from Chicago to L.A. or Chicago to Seattle. That's what these cars were for. Right, and it's an exhilarating ride, too, because you're experiencing some of New Hampshire's most dramatic scenery from a vantage point you don't get to see very often from the literal sides of these mountains, often going over trestles that are just feats of engineering. Oh, yeah. We've got two really big bridges. We've got the, the Willie Brook Bridge, which is probably the more famous of the two, and that's the one right at Crawford Notch. It's like a mile right from the summit, and it's... it's it, it looks very, very high up. When you're down below looking up at it, you're just kind of like, oh my God, it's really high. When you're actually up there, it doesn't feel quite as high. I mean, you kind of look down on the road and you see little ants wandering around <laughs> looking up at you taking pictures, you know, figurative ants. And uh, then the other bridge, of course, is our Frankenstein trestle, which is a curved bridge and it's right in the shadow of the Frankenstein cliffs. Mm. And I, I was corrected, I guess the correct pronunciation is actually Frankenstein. Have you heard Ooh, of that? Frank I, I'm not from around here, but Steenstein, anyway, it's a big that. bridge. I haven't heard um, that. I've had the opportunity to inspect the bridges with our bridge inspector, who's one of the region's premier railroad bridge inspectors, and he said those bridges are in such good condition, if we did nothing to them, they'd probably be there another 100 years, probably wow. 200 years. They're really, really well built. Yeah, they're great bridges. Um, um, so what is the, what's the ticketing like this year? How do people go about reserving their seats aboard any of these three excursions? Um, probably the most effective way is via online. So you conwayscenic.com and go to our website and it will step you through. Again, there's three excursions. Make sure you pick the one that you like. Right. I can't tell people what they're going to like best. I like all of them. My favorite run is actually the Conway run, which is the shortest. I just think that's such a cool little piece of railroad. Yep. Uh, the Crawford Notch run is extremely popular, especially come autumn. Yep. Um, we tend to sell out in the autumn and on busy rainy days, it can get really busy here. We do our best to accommodate everybody. We have extra cars and at times if I can I put on extra trains not right. just me personally I'm not the only one there but I work with our train master Mike Lacey and our owner Dave Swirk and the other guys on the railroad and we put on an extra train here and there if it gets real busy so yeah go to the website or you can call us 603-356-5251 we have ticket agents on duty from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. most days or you can just walk into the station and say hello and buy a ticket um, right. that doesn't guarantee you a ticket on the day depending on what's going on but we certainly accept walk-up business. So. We're talking with Brian Solomon of the Conway Scenic Railroad. Uh, and of course, we should say all of these depart from the, the, the train station right in the middle of North Conway Village. Most do, most do. And I want to clarify that. Okay. All of our trains do depart from North Conway. Yep. However, the Mountaineer, if you book ahead, and you have to book ahead, you can't do it like 10 minutes before, but we do actually accept um, ticketing from the Atatash Station, okay. formerly known as the Atatash Whistle Stop, but it's right behind Maddie B's at the Atatash Mountain Village, right off of 302 before you get to Bartlett. It's okay. like the, before you, it's maybe two miles from Bartlett, is, you know, right where the ski area is. The other, other side of the road is like a little, one little platform, 
And if you book online ahead of time or if you call our ticket office, they can actually arrange your accommodation to go from Atitash to Crawford oh, and wow. back to Atitash. People sometimes get confused because in the winter we use that as our destination for our snow train, which goes from North Conway to Atitash and back to North Conway. This does kind of the opposite. So um, You can make a train vacation out of it. You could book a vacation at Atitash Mountain Village and then hop aboard the train and go to uh, that's the go, idea go through Crawford Notch. That's the idea. Just don't wait to the last minute because we yes. have to re have received your booking before the train manifest goes out, or we won't necessarily know to stop the train. We're not Amtrak. <laughs> we have we're not quite as sophisticated as that, but we are making progress. All right. Before we say goodbye, you guys are always doing new things. Uh, anything new up and coming? At yeah, we've got a, we've got a new dome car coming. We have two. We're getting another one. It is supposed to be absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be no, it's known as the Leslie Ann. It's originally a Northern Pacific dome sleeper, and there's a one in 10 chance that I would have actually slept on that car when I was a wee child, because we took the train from Seattle to Minneapolis, and there was a one in 10 chance that the train I was on was that one. Wow. So keep my fingers crossed, it's the right one. So that's coming here in the next few weeks, I hope. Um, we've bought a new locomotive last fall, so we have a new locomotive, number 255. Um, hopefully we'll get that painted soon, but right now it's bright red. Um, we're hoping to have our steam engine out this year. We've got a lot of things going. We're doing nice. a lot of work on the railroad. We've been maintaining the railroad. Uh, we're hoping to get the station painted. Uh, it's it's up and coming. We're we're really busy, keeping keeping busy here at the old Conway Scenic Railroad. All right. Well, we'll have you on several more times this summer to give us updates on everything that's going on at the Conway Scenic. Yeah. Well, thanks, Chris. And I, just people can have a great time. It's a great fun railroad. It's a lot of fun to be here. All right, Brian Sullivan, Conway Scenic Railroad. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. All right. You're watching White Mountain TV. My name is Lisa McCoy, and I'm the Events and Marketing Director at the Mount Washington Auto Road and Great Glen Trails Outdoor Center. We are the oldest man-made tourist attraction in the United States. We have a full summer of events that people come for all different reasons. Our most popular offering is for people to drive their own vehicles up the Mount Washington Auto Road. Of course, we also offer guided tours. So if you weren't comfortable, or maybe if you just wanted to learn something else about the Auto Road, guided tours are a fantastic option. Many of our drivers, they've been working on the mountain for decades. They have such an intimate knowledge of the history, the ecology, even the geology of the mountain is really unique. We put no more than eight people in a van, and so you get to have this really great experience with a guided tour driver. It's a half an hour up, but you get an hour at the summit to enjoy the weather, take photos, go to the museum at the top, and then it's a half an hour back down the mountain. Lost River Gorge in Boulder Caves is one of New Hampshire's greatest natural wonders and an unforgettable adventure. Discover your adventure at LostRiverGorge.com. At the base of the Mount Washington Auto Road, you'll discover the magnificent setting of Great Glen Trails Outdoor Center. Bring your own bike or rent one for the most family-friendly and scenic biking around. Enjoy a walk on our trail system with amazing views of the Presidential Mountain Range. Book a guided wildlife kayak tour along the lakes and rivers of northern New Hampshire with opportunities for all sorts of wildlife viewing. Shop for the latest tax-free clothing, outdoor gear, and gifts at Great Glen Outfitters. Visit Great Glen Trails, Pinkham Notch, New Hampshire. Keep cool and comfortable in Foamies by Skechers. They're colorful, lightweight footwear that are stylish, comfortable, and 100% waterproof. Plus, they're washable and come in fashionable styles for the whole family. Make a splash in colorful comfort with Foamies by Skechers. I love my new home. I always wanted a house with historic architecture, but it might be too Victorian. Good gosh, interesting hemline on this. Pants? Yes, I do believe they're called pants. Pardon me. No. Pardon me. At least Geico makes bundling my home and car insurance easy. I save so much. I have come to call upon... Just text me. Ah. While I'm heading up. <gasps> it's a ghost. For bundling made easy, go to geico.com. It's called self-care. <laughs> so, uh, we're getting that house we told you guys about. You're buying a house? Yeah. Soldiers get VA loan guarantees. Yeah, no money down. Well, my office gives us free bagels. But that's cool.
welcome back. You're watching White Mountains today. Looking for something fun to do in the White Mountains? Here are some ideas. Memorial Weekend marks the opening of many of the area's attractions. Here are some that are open right now that you may want to try. Storyland, the famous children's theme park, is open with an early season schedule until daily operations start June 17th. Discover or rediscover all your favorite rides, characters, and shows. Book online to save money and guarantee your spot in the park. Living Shores Aquarium is open Friday through Monday until June 17th when it begins daily operation. Enjoy interactive and educational experiences perfect for families seeking fun things to do with kids. From discovering stingrays, meeting the newest sea creatures, and learning about conservation efforts, there's something for everyone. Find the best family deals and discounts online. Omni Mount Washington Resort is open for a multitude of fun and exciting adventures. Ride the Scenic Gondola open weekends now through June 12th, plus Memorial Day, then daily starting June 18th. The Mount Washington 18-hole golf course is open with spectacular play and views. The Canopy Tour features nine zip lines, two sky bridges, three rappels, and there's lots more, including mountain biking, carriage rides, disc golf, guided rock climbing trips, fly fishing clinics, and of course, spa services for after the adventures. Stay tuned, we've got more ideas coming up. There are more things to do here in the White Mountains. Let's check out some local events. Saturday, May 28th, the North Conway Community Center is hosting a food truck festival from noon to six. Grab grub from six of the Valley's finest food trucks. There's also a Tuckerman Brewing beer garden, kids activities, live music, and more. There will be a craft fair on May 28th and 29th at Shuler Park in downtown North Conway with 120 arts and crafts exhibitors displaying a wide array of arts and crafts and even artisan consumables. Live music both days with North Rain or shine, friendly leash dogs welcome. For more info on any of these events, visit our website, whitemountains.tv. Have you heard of Mountain Chic? It's the fashion style that blends wilderness with city sophistication, and it's what you'll find at Spruce Hurricane in North Conway Village. Earlier, we caught up with Amber Dalton as she was showing off some of their arty yellow horse Navajo jewelry. So we're so excited. We're actually coming into our 30th year at Spruce Hurricane this year. So um, we hope everybody will be following along and stopping in to see what's new and exciting as um, we're so proud to have been part of the Mount Washington Valley now for 30 years. Our spring summer collection is here. Lots of color, lots of um, embroidery, a feast for the eyes. So Artie and her grandson and other family members um, create this beautiful jewelry, which is all uh, handmade in their studio in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So it's authentic Native American jewelry, sterling silver, high-grade stones, um, made with love. And we've been carrying their work for, I think, over 20, 25 years now, something like that. Um, so it's something that we're a fan of. We love selling it. Um, we love having it in the store. But then we get the special opportunity of when Artie or her grandson or other family members visit the store once or twice a year and bring an extensive collection so we can really show people more of what they do. And um, it's special. It's fun. Artie and James are wonderful people. So when you can love the product and the people behind it, it just makes it that much better. It's all basically one of a kind. You can't find these anywhere else in town, and that's why I love it. So I'm in here a lot. You don't get hounded like some stores. They follow you around. In here, you can sort of cruise through, do your thing, and, you know, it's just, it's easy. It's just fun, and they make it fun, too. Well, Amber is just a dear friend, and I'm a former customer, and that's how I ended up here. And Amber and I became friends, and she said, hey, why don't, I need someone part-time. How would you like to do that? And now I've been here six years, and it became more than part-time for a while. Um, and I don't even live in the area anymore. I live in the Portsmouth area, and I come up here to shop.
watching White Mountains today, getting you ready for a great day in the White Mountains. Here's what's coming up. We've got your guide to local attractions, and we'll visit with Christopher Bellis of White Mountains Pride to preview the White Mountains Pride Festival. But right now, let's play some Watch and Win. It's time to play Watch and Win. Hi from North Conway, New Hampshire. And we want you to win this $25 Red Parker Pub gift card. And we're also going to qualify everybody who plays, regardless of whether you win this prize today. We're going to qualify you for a $100 gift card to Boggs Footwear. If you'd, like, if you'd like to get either of those prizes, make sure you go to our website, whitemountains.tv and uh, answer a question first before we get to the next question we're going to reveal the question we've the answer to the question we've been showing all morning we've been asking what is the second highest mountain in new hampshire of course mount washington is the highest and which is the second highest well it is indeed mount adams 5793 feet above sea level so we want to congratulate everybody who had the correct answer we've been taking qualifiers throughout the show and I think I may have broken my qualifiers. Oh, no, there we go. We've got Diane from Conway and Kevin from Glen. Those are the two that we've selected at random from all, collect all correct entries. So they have made the finals. We'll be drawing one winner for the Red Parker Pub gift card as a little bit later in the show, around 9.25 or so. But we want to give you a chance to join them on the qualifying board. And to do that, all you have to do is answer this question correctly. In 1642, Darby Field was the first European to, was it, oh, I just gave you the answer right there. How about that? Let's try it. Let's, let's take away the answer. Those watching right now have a little bit of an advantage. <laughs> Second time I've done that this show. Oh, 1642, Darby Field was the first European to what? Climb Mount Washington, see the old man of the mountain, paddle the entire Saco River, or ride Rorosaurus at Storyland. Which of those was he the first to do? If you think you know the answer, we're not taking calls. We're doing it a little bit differently right now. We're going to have you submit online. Go to our website, whitemountains.tv. And that's our website, not .com, but whitemountains.tv. And submit the answer. If you're streaming us live on the website, you'll see a button just below the video window. Click that, or if you go to the home page, just click Win Prizes, and then there's a button for submitting your answer. And uh, I guess that button was broken, but I just fixed it, so it should be good right now. Uh, and then submit your answer, and we'll add one more person to the qualifying board the next time we come back and play some more Watch and Win. So right now, you can join Diana from Conway and Heath Kevin from Glen. Once again, the prize is a $25 gift card to the Red Parka Pub in Glen, New Hampshire. One person will be drawn at the end of the show, and everybody who wins, regardless of whether you win the Red Parka Pub, you'll be qualified to enter a $100 gift card to Boggs Footwear. So go now, whitemountains.tv, and good luck. This is Omaha Steaks. This is Omaha Steaks. So is this. And this. And even this. And yeah, this too. There are so many ways to enjoy our guaranteed perfection. <laughs> Just a little everyday wisdom from Omaha Steaks. Visit omahasteaks.com slash TV today and you'll get eight free burgers. Never tried Omaha Steaks? Save an extra $20 with code SUMMER at checkout. Wearing footwear without proper support is like challenging Sugar Ray Leonard to whack them. Not too smart. So you should wear footwear that provides the support we all need. Skechers ArchFit. Treat yourself. Try Skechers ArchFit with expert certified support.
The story of White Mountain Oil and Propane began in 1941. Since then, it's been neighbor helping neighbor for generations of customers. When you call from Chikora, they won't ask how to spell it. They'll say, we have someone there now. His name is Bob. They have the largest storage facility north of Concord, so you won't hear, see you next week. You'll hear, be right over. They know this valley, and they know what you need to enjoy it in year-round comfort. White Mountain Oil and Propane, always there for you. My community inspired me to become a leader. Showed me a path to my future. And completely changed my life. My community. My community is White Mountains Community College. Enroll now for upcoming classes. Learn more at wmcc.edu. This is White Mountains TV. I'm Chris Prue in the North Conway Studios, joined by White Mountains Pride's Christopher Bellis. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. Uh, we're going to talk about a big festival coming up June 25th. Before we get to that, give us a little background on the White Mountains Pride organization, what it's all about, and um, what June means. So uh, June is Pride Month across the country, you know, and it's an uh, opportunity for everybody to celebrate uh, inclusion and diversity, of, you know, of all people. But uh, specifically, it started with LGBTQIA plus people uh, many, many years ago in the late 60s. And so uh, we created White Mountains uh, Pride here in the Valley in 2018 and had our first festival in 2019 and have been celebrating diversity and inclusion here in the Valley ever since. Fantastic. Now, this event takes place June 25th, um, Pride Festival. Tell us what this includes. So at the festival, we're going to have uh, food trucks, so people can get nourishment. We're going to have uh, entertainers, you know, bands and other uh, performers who are going to be performing during the day, including M&D Playhouse that's doing some numbers from their upcoming show, Cabaret. Nice. Uh, we're also going to be uh, highlighting some local bands from uh, the high school. So that's going to be great. And uh, also bringing in some folks from other areas. So uh, a fun day of festivities. And this takes place mostly around North Conway Community Center? Yes, it's uh, taking place in the North Conway Community Center Park, which is to the left of Schuler Park okay. in the center of North Conway. Very fun. And I, this is a free event, right? There's no cover no charges cost, or anything? No cover charge. You just come, celebrate, you know, participate. Food, obviously, at the food trucks, you know, you have to pay for. We're going to have fr uh, free games and activities for kids right. and adults as well. So uh, it'll be a great opportunity to come and have a great time and uh, get together with other people in the valley and celebrate who we are. It celebrates, it celebrates life, all, all colors of the spectrum. Correct. Um, so uh, LB, LBGTQIA+, did I get yes. that right? And also uh, friends, family, supporters. Uh, and people and who pe want to learn more. and People who just want to uh, be joyous and you know, have, have brothers and sisters of all persuasions. Exactly. Yeah. Um, all right, so food trucks will be there. And then June itself is, is Pride Month. Pride Month. Uh, so you guys have a huge calendar of events, and I understand it's even growing as we speak. Yes, uh, we're encouraging local businesses to do events uh, throughout the month of June to celebrate Pride. So we have Settlers Green, who is doing Light Up Pride at uh, Settlers Crossing. We have um, a couple of restaurants that are doing Pride Nights at their restaurants and a couple of other activities. You can see all of those at whitemountainspride.com forward slash events. Uh, we also uh, want to take the opportunity to thank the members of the local community, the business community specifically for sponsoring us. You know, uh, Christmas Loft and Berry Company are doing incredible work and in helping to support us to put on the festival and to make sure that we celebrate all the different uh, colors in the valley, so to speak. Absolutely. Mount Washington Valley is uh, such an inviting place. We want to make sure that everybody feels invited to, uh, to enjoy the splendor that we have here in this region. Um, very inclusive. And uh, if people want more either information, they want to get involved in White Mountains Pride or just want more information on the festival, um, what's the best way to do that? So if they want more information about White Mountains Pride, they can go to our website, whitemountainspride.com. Uh, they can also email whitemountainspride at gmail.com. And I would be happy to respond to them and get them involved in whatever way they would like to get involved. All right. Christopher Bellis of White Mountains Pride. Anything else? Well, you know, I, again, I want to thank you guys here at White Mountains TV for doing such a great job. We appreciate it. And uh, thank you for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. And, uh, yeah, we're excited to be a part of it. 
And I look forward to, uh, I'm going to definitely check out those food trucks, I think. Yes. <laughs> you had me at food trucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. And we, you know, we have Cheese Louise and uh, Trails End for sure. Yeah. So you can get a nice grilled cheese and you can get a uh, nice uh, ice cream afterwards. Fantastic. You had me at ice cream. <laughs> Uh, Christopher, Bellis, Christopher Bellis, White Mountains Pride, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, we'll see you on June 25th at the North Conway Community Center Park. Great. All right. This is White Mountains TV. All right, everybody. We are live from North Conway. Time for a live local weather break. We are looking at North Conway Village via our whitemountains.tv 24-hour seven days a week live weather cam blue skies the humidity as soon as you step out today you'll notice the humidity from yesterday has dropped temperature is currently 64 degrees and we have a great one on tap taking a look at the radar you can see all the storms are far out to our west looks like a, uh, a front over minnesota right now but we're going to remain dry for the foreseeable future let's go to our forecast for today it's going to be a sunny day, sunny day today with a high near 77 degrees. Calm winds becoming west around 5 miles per hour this morning. Tonight, partly cloudy, low around 52 degrees. Northwest winds around 5 miles per hour. Very nice night. And our Memorial Day Monday, mostly sunny, warmer, high near 82. Light west wind increasing to 5 to 10 miles per hour. Look ahead at the week. Tuesday and Wednesday are a mix of sun and clouds, lower 70s, slight chance of a shower on Wednesday, Thursday and cloudy with a chance of a shower, all three days again, lower 70s. Let's go to the top of Mount Washington right now. The forecasted high is 50 degrees from the summit, clear under mostly sunny skies, becoming partly sunny late in the afternoon, high around 50 degrees. Winds northwest, shifting west, 20 to 35 miles per hour. So a fantastic hiking day out there. And we're going to bring up a one of these days. Here we go. A live look at the summit of Mount Washington. Perhaps. Let's try this again. There we go. That is actually a live cam via mountwashington.org and quite a view looking towards the south, towards North Conway from the observatory building, or the Sherman Adams building. A look around the White Mountains now. From Conway looking north towards Mount Washington, clear skies. Again, from the summit on the observatory deck and the northern presidentials from the observatory. And a beautiful sunrise captured by the Mount Washington Observatory from Wildcat Mountain, looking across Pinkham Notch towards Tuckerman Ravine and the summit. And we will leave you with a live look of North Conway Village once again. It's 48 degrees on the summit of Mount Washington, 64 in North Conway. Welcome back. You're watching White Mountains today. Looking for something fun to do in the White Mountains? Here are some ideas. Memorial Weekend marks the opening of many of the area's attractions. Here are some that are open right now that you may want to try. 
Lost River Gorge is open Thursdays through Mondays until mid-June when it opens daily. Explore nature's blissful beauty as your journey takes you on a self-guided adventure along a one-mile wooden boardwalk among jagged rock walls, glacial boulder caves, and cascading waterfalls. Buy tickets in advance to reserve your place as they can sell out, plus you'll save money buying online. Cranmore Mountain Resort is open weekends and Memorial Day with select rides. Take a ride on the mountain coaster, zip through the air on the Soaring Eagle, and experience the giant tandem swing. Or discover downhill mountain biking on Cranmore's Lift Service Mountain Bike Park. Additional rides and attractions start June 18th when Cranmore goes to Thursday through Monday schedule. Advanced reservations highly recommended. Stay tuned, we've got more ideas coming up. There are more things to do here in the White Mountains. Let's check out some local events. There's a Dine to Donate June 2nd from 5 to 8 p.m. at Black Cap Grill in North Conway. You can get a great meal and have 10% go towards Axe, which is Assistance Canine Training Services. Come out and meet the puppies while supporting a great cause. Great Glen Trails Outdoor Center is hosting the 2022 Black Fly Trail Run and Relay on Saturday, June 4th. Make your way through the beautiful trails at the Glen in a race that's 100% New Hampshire. There'll be three classes. 3-mile individual, 10-mile individual, or 10-mile relay with a team of three. Tackle single track, muddy bogs, carriage roads, and a river crossing in this course made up of three loops run in sequential order. 10 a.m. mass start. More info at GreatClenTrails.com. For more info on any of these events, visit our website, WhiteMountains.tv. Let's go mountain biking. If you're looking for a trail system that's really good for beginners and families, you might want to try this one. It's called East Bear Paw in Center Conway, New Hampshire. This trail network rests on land owned by Tin Mountain Conservation Center. Tin Mountain is an educational nonprofit in the valley. It's about 500 acres here with about uh, six to seven miles worth of single track trail. Very family friendly. Nothing delights my soul more than when I'm out here doing trail work and I get to see some families riding together. So long ago, there were trails here long before Tin Mountain even owned the property. The property is owned by the Bear Paw Lumber Company. Uh, that was on Haleytown Road. That got defunct, went out of business, and they gifted land. So this is about now 15 years ago, Tin Mountain came ownership of the land for sole purposes of sustainable forestry practices. Um, it is a great environmental classroom. Um, it's a great work, place where people walk their dogs, uh, trail run, or hey, go mountain biking as well. Well, they're kind of scenic. They're pretty uh, low-key and quiet. If you've got beginners, kids, stuff like that, this is a good place to get them out there and get them started. Um, intermediates can have a good time. Um, even advanced riders can have a good time, depending on the rate of speed you want to put into it. It doesn't have any major elevation gain or drops, so it's a uh, pretty even keel all the way around. But it's uh, generally just good intermediate entry-level riding if you just want to get out and spin some miles. I think the whole network's maybe nine miles right now, although we're putting some new stuff in as we speak. This is kind of unique in the valley because it is very much a beginner intermediate network, um, which is great. You know, if, there, there, are, there aren't many places closer to town, so to speak, that, that, that offer what this place does. I really like riding uh, Ruby Ridge. I like the Bridges Trail. Um, Incline is a, is a newer trail that Jotham built, and that's a really nice trail. I like that trail a lot. If I link them all just the right way, you can burn up pretty much the whole nine miles, and it's just fun the whole way. And it's, it's, it's remarkable, because I wouldn't normally consider a beginner intermediate trail as, as my first choice for going someplace to have fun, but it actually works out really well. Well, Tin Mountain's mission naturally is conservation. So if we have a working forest here, you kind of need to show a working forest, getting people actively out in the woods. Trail system in and of itself, it wouldn't be uncommon to see deer, porcupines. Um, I have seen a moose here. It is bear paw, so in the over 15 years that I've taken care of the place, I have seen a bear um, very closely, mind you. The main parking is right there on 302, kind of across the street from State Line Store. Um, there's a kiosk located on the property. 
The kiosk contains a QR code where anybody can take a picture with their iPhone and the map will pop up. If you've never been, come out here and check it out. It's, it's getting better and better every year. You're watching White Mountains today, getting you ready for a great day in the White Mountains. Here's what's coming up. We've got your guide to local attractions, and we'll visit in person with Lisa McCoy of Great Glen Trails and the Mount Washington Auto Road. But right now, let's play some Watch and Win. All right, who wants prizes? We're giving away a $25 gift card to the Red Parker Pub in Glen, New Hampshire today. Great food, great times, great live music, outdoor patio dining in the summer. And we're also qualifying. Everybody who plays, regardless of whether you win today's prize, you're going to be into another drawing for a $100 Boggs gift card. We're going to draw one winner for that later in the month of June. But if you want to get into this drawing, here's what you have to do. You have to answer our watch and win question correctly. And here's the current question. In 1642, Darby Field was the first European to, was it climb Mount Washington, see the old man of the mountain, paddle the entire Saco River, or ride Rorosaurus at Storyland? He was the first person to do one of those. Which one was it? Answer now. Go to whitemountains.tv. Don't call in. We're doing this all online right now. Go to whitemountains.tv, our website. And you can either click win prizes, or if you're streaming us online on our website, just look below the video window, and there's a button right there. Click it, answer your, or submit your answer, and we will draw one winner coming up a little bit later in the show. Good luck. Today is brought to you by the Eastern Slope Inn. Enjoy spacious suites and full kitchens in the heart of North Conway Village. And by Adatash Mountain Village. Reconnect with family and nature at our White Mountain New Hampshire Resort. The story of White Mountain Oil and Propane began in 1941. Since then, it's been neighbor helping neighbor for generations of customers. When you call from Chikora, they won't ask how to spell it. They'll say, we have someone there now. His name is Bob. They have the largest storage facility north of Concord. So you won't hear, see you next week. You'll hear, be right over. They know this valley and they know what you need to enjoy it in year-round comfort. White Mountain Oil and Propane, always there for you. North Conway Midas saves vacations and gets locals back on the road. Trust Midas for all your auto care needs, including brakes, oil changes, tires, and now alignments. Buying a used car? Before you spend the money, bring it to Midas for a free inspection. Local owners Ron and Kelly Monroe believe in quality work, treating customers with honesty, and giving back to the community. Trust North Conway Midas, White Mountain Highway across from the Red Jacket Hotel. Welcome to Barley and Salt Tap House and Kitchen, a contemporary eatery with 30 ever-changing craft beers, full bar, and a street food menu with international variety. Looking for the latest craft brew? This is the place. Seasonal shared plates, craft cocktails, killer playlists, right here. Our high-energy industrial atmosphere accommodates large parties indoors and out. Barley and Salt delivers the perfect pour in an atmosphere unique to Mount Washington Valley. Barley and Salt. 
Savor the hops, relish the flavor. Age before beauty? Why not both? Visibly diminish wrinkled skin in just two days. New Crepe Corrector Lotion, only from Gold Bond. Champion your skin. Yes. I'll get you the file. Sounds intense. Clients. What do you do? Retired. Tech? <laughs> nah, Army. Huh. Check your spam folder. Welcome back. You're watching White Mountains today. Looking for something fun to do in the White Mountains? Here are some ideas. Memorial Weekend marks the opening of many of the area's attractions. Here are some that are open right now that you may want to try. Lost River Gorge is open Thursdays through Mondays until mid-June when it opens daily. Explore nature's blissful beauty as your journey takes you on a self-guided adventure along a one-mile wooden boardwalk among jagged rock walls, glacial boulder caves, and cascading waterfalls. Buy tickets in advance to reserve your place as they can sell out. Plus, you'll save money buying online. Cranmore Mountain Resort is open weekends and Memorial Day with select rides. Take a ride in the mountain coaster, zip through the air on the Soaring Eagle, and experience the giant tandem swing. Or discover downhill mountain biking on Cranmore's Lift Service Mountain Bike Park. Additional rides and attractions start June 18th when Cranmore goes to Thursday through Monday schedule. Advanced reservations highly recommended. Stay tuned, we've got more ideas coming up. There are more things to do here in the White Mountains. Let's check out some local events. There's a Dine to Donate June 2nd from 5 to 8 p.m. at Black Cap Grill in North Conway. You can get a great meal and have 10% go towards Axe, which is Assistance Canine Training Services. Come out and meet the puppies while supporting a great cause. Great Glen Trails Outdoor Center is hosting the 2022 Black Fly Trail Run and Relay on Saturday, June 4th. Make your way through the beautiful trails at the Glen in a race that's 100% New Hampshire. There'll be three classes, 3-mile individual, 10-mile individual, or 10-mile relay with a team of three. Tackle single track, muddy bogs, carriage roads, and the river crossing in this course made up of three loops run in sequential order. 10 a.m. mass start. More info at greatglentrails.com. For more info on any of these events, visit our website, whitemountains.tv. Introducing Outside Plus, your home for exploration. From the backyard to the backcountry. Workouts, meal plans, curated content. All from the brands you know and trust. Join today. You're watching White Mountains TV. I'm Chris Pru in the North Conway studio with Lisa McCoy of Great Glen Trails and the Mount Washington Auto Road. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Chris, so much for having me here. It's great to be here. It is the start of another summer season here in the White Mountains, and we're talking about two of the area's signature attractions, Great Glen Trails and the Mount Washington Auto Road. Let's talk about what both of these attractions have to offer, starting with some big news at the Mount Washington Auto Road. It is. It's history in the making. We are, you know, it's... We started paving the Mount Washington Auto Road starting in the early 70s, laying down little sections of pavement, like piece by piece by piece. And this weekend, we are psyched that we are able to offer top to bottom pavement wow. for anyone driving the Mount Washington Auto Road. Um, what does this mean for the average, the average uh, you know, driver? How's the experience going to change, do you think? I think that the average driver will love the experience, especially motorcyclists. Um, that the, or especially if you have a low clearance car, like a, you know, sports car, that, um, that gravel section, you know, it was really easily to, you know, have some bumps or little rocks or some dust. And so I think, you know, figuratively yeah. and literally it will be a much more smooth ride. Right. You mentioned paving started in like the 1970s, but the auto road itself began like the 1860s. So there's just been a long stretch where there's been like alternating pavement, dirt, pavement, dirt. And this will be the first year. First time all ever. Pavement. All pavement. And the reason why this section wasn't paved is not because we were preserving it for any particular reason. It was just the most challenging section to pave. And so we had to kind of expand it and shore it up and uh, make sure that, um, you know, dig a couple additional culverts just to make sure that erosion wasn't going to be a factor mm. on that slope. So and For people who have never been up the auto road before, what's, what's the allure? What's the experience like of driving or taking a tour up the auto road? interesting because it's it's honestly like nothing else that you'll experience and 
Um, you know, I'm a hiker, and before I started working at the auto road, I didn't really appreciate the experience of driving it. You know, when you're hiking it, you, you, it's a slow progression. You take, you know, say four or five hours to get from the base to the summit. So you kind of see these zones that you're going mm. through in time. But when you drive the auto road, you can get to the summit in 30 minutes or 45 minutes. And it's a drastic difference between the base of the mountain and right. the summit. It literally feels like you're driving to another planet. And you're driving your car into the clouds and into the sky. And it's just like this feeling that you get of expansiveness that is kind of unparalleled. Right. And it's your own car. Or if you're taking a guided tour, you're learning about all these crazy stories that have happened on the auto road and the mountain itself. It's just a, a really fantastic experience to do. They say the, like, the ecology on the summit of Mount Washington is similar to like Labrador, Canada. So imagine taking a drive from North Conway, New Hampshire, all the way to Labrador in 30 minutes. It's like almost like a time lapse exactly. of, of, going through, uh, of going through ecology and going through nature, uh, climbing through latitudes, except that you're going up. <laughs> <laughs> right. And right now, the alpine flowers are beginning to bloom. Mm. I was just up there yesterday. And so you see some of the, those little, very, very delicate plants yep. that they say, you know, don't walk on because they are so delicate. Yeah. They live in this very rugged alpine tundra and they're flowering right now and it's beautiful. There's like little tiny yellows and pinks and blues. Um, it's a gorgeous time to be at the summit. And there are some things to do on the summit as well. You can, mm -hmm. as you just mentioned, hike around to different areas. Yeah, stay on the path. Stay on, stay on the well-marked mm -hmm. and uh, established paths. But there's also different attractions up there. There's mm -hmm. the, the Tip Top House and... Yeah, although I believe the Tip Top, ho Tip Top House is still closed for okay. renovations. They are, the state park uh, has been renovating the Tip Top House. It's the oldest building at the summit, and they're doing some renovations to better welcome guests in the future. And I think it'll be open and operational sometime this summer. They just haven't decided when that is exactly. Right. Um, but there are, you know, the state park building is there, and of course the Mount Washington Observatory Museum, which is a unique experience that you definitely must go in and experience while you're there. A lot of fun. And of course, on a clear day, you can see to the Atlantic Ocean or mm -hmm. into Canada and, and, and so far. But even on a bad weather day, it's kind of cool because you can drive up into the notorious world's worst weather. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, a lot of people say, you know, you know, it's cloudy. Uh, you know, maybe I don't want to drive up there. But it's sometimes more memorable yeah. because you get these you know, extremes of weather. It might be 80 degrees down at the base, and at the summit you're getting, you know, 50 mile an hour winds and fog, and uh, it, it's honestly like nothing that you'll ever experience without, without going there yourself. That's on the summit. Now, down at the base of the Mount Washington Auto Road, you have this expansive trail system known as Great Glen Trails. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you can do there. So, Great Glen in the summertime is just beautiful. All the, you know, again, flowers, wildflowers are blooming. Um, Ferns are coming up, so you can walk, you can run or hike anytime. Dogs are welcome. The trails are free. Uh, if you want to bike on our trails, which is this whole network of carriage roads, so think Acadia National Park, mm. and um, really very family friendly. Uh, you can pull behind a trailer bike or one of those little, um, you know, those little trailers that you can put oh, yeah. your little your little toddler inside, and it's really very family friendly and head right out from our base lodge. We do rent bikes, but you can bring your own. But you do need a trail pass and, of course, a helmet uh, to go out. And if you are out there on the trails and if you have a mountain bike and you want to explore some of our more rugged single track, that's also available. Yes, of course, that trail system is known for hosting the 24 hours of Great Glen. Yes. We're going to get into a whole schedule of events, but uh, while we're on the topic of mountain biking, that's coming back it this, is. this August? It is. coming back this August, August 6th and 7th. It's sponsored by Moat Mountain. Um, Smokehouse and Brewery right here in North Conway, and uh, it's a fantastic event. So 24 hours of mountain biking, you can do it as a team, you can do it as a solo, you can do a 12-hour race or a 24-hour race, get the full fun. Um, there's a band um, on Friday night, and it's just, a, it's just like a super fantastic festival weekend of mountain bike racing. It is a lot of fun. I see a lot of families just show up just to check it out, watch it. You have free kayaking in the pond there for the mm -hmm. kids. And, and we'll be happy to have you back as our uh, race announcer. I'm looking forward to it. It's always a good time. I think it's one of the signature events in all of the White Mountains. So um, speaking of events, let's keep going down the, uh, the list here because with a great venue like Great Glen Trails and the Mount Washington Auto Road, you host some amazing events. 
Uh, running is really big right now. You have a weekly series, and that's in also a couple of a big events coming up. Yeah, so this running series is Thursday night. You can show up anytime between 3.30 and 7 o'clock p.m. Go for your run. It's a time trial, um, and it's great training for our Black Fly trail running race and relay, which is happening on June 4th. And that event, like I said, it's, uh, it's, it's either a three-mile one loop, or you can do it three loops, kind of roughly 10 miles, or you can do that 10 miles as a team of three, and each of your team members would run one loop. So something for everybody. Yes. Whether you just want to do a three-mile a three mile loop and find a couple buddies to, to run with you, um, maybe make some fun T-shirts or something, have a good time. And then we're stoked because Moat Mountain, again, is, is sponsoring that event, and Shark Martin is going to come and play nice. for the afternoon. So we do a little barbecue after the event. It's really fun, really, like, you know, There's super always enjoyable. a festival going on <laughs> at Great Glen Trails. Miles abound. Um, real quickly, Memorial Weekend is coming up, and that usually starts kind of the summer season. You guys kick it off with the Alton Weagle event. Um, our own Hans Bauer, who has is a veteran of this show yeah. and also a veteran uh, driver for the Auto Road, mm -hmm. always comes up with unique ways to participate. What is the Alton Weagle Day? So Alton Weagle celebrates folks who, I I'm going to say creative um, Art, they're different. Art, artistic <laughs> minds. Um, people who love a challenge of creativity. Mm. And Alton Weagle celebrates first ascents of any kind on the auto road. And um, Alton Weagle was a character who reportedly walked up Mount Washington Auto Road backwards and blindfolded, once pushed up a wheelbarrow full of sugar without setting it down. And so we invite anybody. You can come and you can do a first ascent of your own as long as it's never been done. So this year we've got someone who wants to skateboard up the auto road. Not sure we in our all records, we don't know that it's ever been done. Mm. You gotta really, you know, kick yeah. to get any kind of traction to go up that steep grade. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we have an individual he's been doing it every year. He's coming with a theme of a circus. Um, and we're also really excited. We're welcoming a New Hampshire company called iBot. It's a mobility device that um, is uh, it's on four wheels, but it uses technology kind of like a Segway, and mm. it can rotate up so that the person in the wheelchair can, can eat, climb stairs in wow. this mobility device. But you have to look this up. It is a fantastic device, that, um, and they're going to they're gonna ascend the auto road in it. Hey, well, I hope that someone gets some video of this oh, to, I, to, to share. <laughs> That's exciting. And of course, Hans Bauer, who has been with this show for years and years and years, uh, he has, you, you mentioned Alton Weagle, how he went up backwards and blindfolded. He actually went up, he outdid Alton Weagle. He went up backwards, blindfolded, bearing bowling balls and bananas or something like that. <laughs> and uh, so well, he's, he's done all sorts of his own. He went up on a pogo, pogo stick, stick, which he had to retrofit. You know this? You yeah. need to retrofit so that the angle of the pogo was matched the angle of the mountain. He's gone up on, uh, in different months, he's gone up on stilts on snowshoes. Uh, I think he's gone up on stilts in general in the yeah. summer. He's done it. He's done everything. He's done it all. And so, he's crawled up. Yep. Yeah. So we're, we're, <laughs> we're happy to have Hans as our, I call him our official officiant of this event. So all he right. helps us to kick it off. Uh, another way to go up the auto road actually is ATVs on select days, yes, right? That's so. correct. It's a, you know, ATVing has become really popular in recent years, and there's trails networks in the southern part of the state, and in here generally around North Conway, and then of course in Gorham and in Berlin, Berlin huge. huge ATVing. So we have opened up the opportunity for people to buy a ticket for their drive yourself on an ATV um, on specific days throughout the summer. So you have to buy it in advance. All right. I think we've covered a lot, and we're kind of running out of time. Yeah. Any Anything you want to say before we say goodbye? Um, I'm going to say, you know, we really look forward to having you here. You know, come up to the Auto Road. Come up to Great Glen Trails. Book a stay at the Glen House Hotel. Um, it is a beautiful destination, whether you're there just to drive the Auto Road or you make a full day of it or full week. Um, Pinkham Notch is a beautiful place to visit, especially this Absolutely. time of year. And there's your primer on Great Glen Trails and the Mount Washington Auto Road. Lisa McCoy, thank you for joining us. Thanks so much, Chris, for having me here. All right, you're watching White Mountains TV.
the food, the party, the legend. The Red Park of Hub and Glen is where the Valley rallies for hand-cut steaks grilled to perfection. Hefty appetizers, freshly ground burgers, chicken, seafood, plus great salads, and the park is famous barbecue ribs. Kids' entrees come with dessert and beverage refills. Awesome events for great causes and the hottest nightlife in the Valley with live music and dancing. The Red Park of Steakhouse and Pub, a Valley original, Route 302, Downtown Glen. For over three decades, Joseph's Spaghetti Shed has been serving delicious Italian meals with their famous homemade sauces, meatballs, and fresh breads. Enjoy all your Italian favorites, plus delicious salads and Joseph's incredible 10-inch pizzas. Some say the best in the valley. Joseph's is casual, affordable, and perfect for tired families after a day of white mountain fun. Call ahead for takeout or grab a frozen meal for later. Joseph's Spaghetti Shed, Route 302 in Glen. Style is about being inspired. At Spruce Hurricane, our style inspiration comes from the natural beauty of our surroundings. The reds and golds of autumn leaves, shining stars glistening in the night, turquoise skies that stretch to eternity. Our collection of merchandise is as diverse as the New England weather. Footwear and outerwear may be inspired by snowdrifts and ski slopes or by pastures and open fields. Handcrafted jewelry and accessories, leather belts and handbags, sweaters and jeans or boots and jackets, all are combined with color, texture, and artistry to inspire you. Explore your style inspiration at Spruce Hurricane, where the wilderness blends with city sophistication in the heart of North Conway Village. And check us out on Facebook for your daily style inspiration. This is original, a Valley original. This is family dining, fine dining, international seafood steak. This is independently owned, right here and only right here. It's live music, a margarita, a martini, a local brew. It's fresh from the sea and farm to table. This is a Valley original restaurant. Look for this flag over 20 of the Mount Washington Valley's best independently owned restaurants or browse restaurants right now at thevalleyoriginals.com. All right, hey everybody, it is Chris with a live weather break from our North Conway studios. Looking outside to the village, blue skies, temperatures in North Conway are at 64 degrees right now. And checking out our radar, you can see all storms are off to our west. We are enjoying a nice, uh, clear eastern seaport for the next couple of days. Precipitation, next chance of showers is probably not until about Wednesday or so, so uh, if you are planting grass seed like I am, be prepared to water it over the next few days. Let's go to our forecast for today. Sunny with a high of 77 in North Conway today. Calm winds becoming west around 5 miles per hour. Looking ahead to tonight, we've got a partly cloudy evening with a low around 52. Northwest winds around 5 miles per hour. And the forecast for Monday, Memorial Day, mostly sunny, warmer with a high near 82. Light west, west, light west winds increasing 5 to 10 miles per hour in the morning. And taking a look ahead at the week, Tuesday and Wednesday, a mix of sun and clouds. 30% chance of showers on Wednesday, and Thursday is overcast with a slight chance of showers. Temperatures in the lower 70s all three days, so... Get out and enjoy. It looks to be a nice week out there. If you're heading outside today, definitely wear some sunscreen. The sun is bright. The haze is low. Humidity is down. 
It's a good day for a hike. If you're hiking all the way to the Mount Washington summit, you'll find it clear under mostly sunny skies, becoming partly sunny late in the day. In the day. Highs around 50 degrees, winds northwest shifting west 20 to 35 miles per hour. And a couple of views from around the region. That is from Conway, courtesy of HayesCam.net. Looking towards the summit of Mount Washington. Hayes is down from yesterday. Humidity is a little bit lower. There is a pick courtesy of the Mount Washington Observatory. Looking over the observatory deck from the observatory looking northward. And here is a sunrise view from Wildcat Mountain looking over towards Tucker, Tuckerman Ravine and the calico splotch snow fields of the summit of Mount Washington. All right, we are nearing the end of today's live morning show. Let's, uh, how about we play some watch and win? All right, we are playing for a $25 gift card to the Red Parker Pub in Glen, New Hampshire. Great food, great times, great live entertainment, outdoor patio dining in the summer. Just a great place to hang out. And it's in Glen, which is in the middle of uh, a lot of things, hiking in the White Mountain National Forest, uh, some camping, summer activities on the Saco River, and also uh, places like Storyland and Living Shores Aquarium just down the road. And everybody who plays today, we're going to draw one winner for the $25 gift card to the Red Parker Pub, but everybody also gets into a monthly drawing that will take place in June for a $100 Boggs gift card. So if you want to get into that, here's what you have to do. Answer this question correctly. Go to whitemountains.tv, click the Enter Your Answer button, and tell us in 1642, Darby Field was the first European to do what? Was it climb Mount Washington? see the old man of the mountain, paddle the entire Saco River, or ride Aurorosaurus at Storyland. He was the first person to do one of those things. Go to whitemountains.tv and enter your answer right there. We are taking qualifiers uh, as the show goes on we'll, from all entries that have the correct answer. We'll take a few at random and stick them up on our qualifying board. We just added Colleen from Berlin and Dimitri from Jackson. You are now on the board this is your last chance to get on the board. Again, go to whitemountains.tv and enter your answer. We'll have a drawing in just a few minutes. Good luck. something fun to do in the White Mountains? Here are some ideas. Memorial Weekend marks the opening of many of the area's attractions. Here are some that are open right now that you may want to try. The Mount Washington Auto Road is now open daily 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. for drive-yourself trips and guided tours in their stage vans. History has just been made on the Auto Road as this will be the first season ever the road will be 100% paved from the base to the summit. Great Glen Trails, located at the base of the Auto Road, is open for mountain biking. Bring your own bike or rent one at the base lodge. They also offer kayaking tours, including guided wildlife paddling tours in the quiet Androscoggin River. Advanced reservations needed for the kayaking. The Conway Scenic Railroad in North Conway is open with three different excursions, including the family favorite Conway Valley Train, which is 55 minutes round trip, Sawyer River excursions, which are just over two hours, and the Mountaineer train through spectacular Crawford Notch, which is four to five hours depending on the trip. Buy tickets online at conwayscenic.com. Stay tuned, we've got more ideas coming up. There are more things to do here in the White Mountains. Let's check out some local events. The Weather Vane Theater is proud to announce the opening for its 57th season, Million Dollar Quartet, a thrilling rock and roll musical with limited engagement at the Weather Vane June 8th through the 18th. The show centers on December 4, 1956, when an extraordinary twist of fate brings Johnny Cash, Jerry Lee Lewis, 
Carl Perkins and Elvis Presley together at Sun Records in Memphis for one unforgettable jam session. June is Pride Month. All June long you can participate in fun events organized and planned by White Mountains Pride, including the big one, the White Mountains Pride Festival on June 25th at the North Conway Community Center. It will include a full day of activities, live music, food trucks, and more. More info at whitemountainspride.com. For more info on any of these events, visit our website, whitemountains.tv. Celebrate diversity in the White Mountains and Mount Washington Valley at the free annual Pride Festival June 25th at the North Conway Community Center Park, featuring music, games, food trucks, and more. White Mountains Pride, celebration, empowerment, acceptance, and inclusion for all LGBTQIA plus residents and visitors and their friends and family. For more info on this and other upcoming events, visit whitemountainspride.com. North Conway's favorite adventures at Cranmore Mountain Resort. Check out the new beginner-friendly, lift-serviced downhill mountain bike park. Ride the mountain coaster, soaring eagle zip line, and giant swing. Enjoy outdoor dining on Zip's deck. Ride the scenic chairlift to the summit for amazing views, ice cream, hiking trails, and Tuckerman Brewery tasting room. Cranmore Mountain Resort. Fun for the whole family. Just one mile outside North Conway Village. Visit Cranmore.com for tickets and important info. When your passion has a path, you just have to follow it. See where one of our 50 academic programs can take you at White Mountains Community College. Enroll now at wmcc.edu. All right, here we go. Ready to announce our winner of this morning's watch and win contest. We've been playing all morning long for a Red Parker Pub gift card, $25 to the Red Parker Pub in Glen, New Hampshire. And everybody who played today, regardless of whether you win this prize, is now entered into a drawing for a $100 gift card to Boggs Footwear. So to qualify for this morning's prize, you had to answer one of our trivia questions. The first one we showed this morning was, what is the second highest mountain in New Hampshire? The answer to that was Mount Adams. And then more recently, we were asking you, we were asking you, we were not asking Monster you that, hold on. Boulder Caves is one of New Hampshire's <laughs> Computers being a little bit fidgety this morning as we get late in the show. In 1642, Darby Field was the first European to do what? Was it climb Mount Washington, see the old man of the mountain, paddle the entire Saco River, or ride Rorosaurus? And the answer to that was climb Mount Washington. So we qualified, everybody who had a correct answer was put into a drawing. We pulled people randomly and put them on our qualifier board. We had uh, Diana from Conway, Kevin from Glenn, Colleen from Berlin, Dimitri from Jackson, and just recently we added Matthew Gorham, excuse me, Matthew from Gorham, New Hampshire. And then we chose one at random, and that person is... Diana from Conway. Congratulations to Diana from Conway. We will email the winner and tell you how to claim your prize. Congratulations to everybody who played and qualified. We are going to leave you now with a, a live look outside our North Conway studio. As we say goodbye, we will be back with White Mountains today, uh, Saturday and Sunday of next week with more updated information on activities, attractions, events, 
weather. And, of course, we'll play watch and win for some more great prizes. And tune in because our prizes are getting better throughout the summer. We have uh, an amazing list of prizes headed your way. So thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.